What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Just Dab Tasting. Episode number 35, where we taste beers here at the Wilkie that we've just tapped. That was, that was a weird, that was a weird intro. Was that weird for you? I feel good about it. I feel good about it. I like being weird sometimes. And uh, if you know any friends who like being weird, share this video. We'll get weird together on Just Tap Tasting. It's going to be wonderful. Today we got a beer from Firestone Walker um, out of Paso Robles, California. This is probably one of my favorite beers in this style. It's called Pale 31. Uh, 31 for California being the 31st state in the union. Did I say that right? Yeah, they were at state number 31, I believe. Um, and then it's also gold. Uh, their, their packaging is gold for the, the, you know, the Golden State, Golden Gate Bridge, all those things. Uh, the beer, color, gold. I mean, just, just branding through and through. Uh, Pale 31, I really love it though because it's an actual pale ale. We've kind of lost that a little bit in American brewing, uh, which is okay. But I think we're getting back to it with some of these beers like this. Uh, there's a couple other actual pale ales that um, I really enjoy. Here at the Wolfie, we have a pale ale line, and we always try to make that pale ale line actual be pale ales. You know, one of these terms that you may have heard uh, thrown around the last couple years here is a session IPA. I really think that's a pale ale, just rebranded, um, which is kind of cool. So sometimes you'll see session IPAs on our pale ale line. Today we have an actual pale ale that we've just tapped on the pale ale line. And um, Pale 31, let's see what's going on on the nose. On the nose, uh, distinct American hop aroma. They're using, uh, as far as aroma hops here, Cascade and Chinook. And uh, a little bit of Centennial as well. I, do, I definitely get the Centennial shining through. Uh, we've talked about it on previous episodes that uh oh we just did a centennial ipa that i've, I've had some some intimate experiences with, with centennial hops and so that always stands out for me and it does here as well um really like great hop aroma for a pale ale now here's the difference is when you go in for the taste so let's do that big aroma Easy going, simple palate, which is really cool. That's what a pale ale is supposed to be. Pale ales are not supposed to like blow you out. You should be able to have a bunch of pale ales in the summertime, like it is now. And this is a beer you can do that with. And I am a huge fan. They're using fugal hops to, to bitter it, and it's, it's, it's mellow, present, but not too much. Um, so, you know, it's just what an actual pale ale should be. 4.9%. Uh, so alcohol is, is kind of firing on all cylinders for the style and super, super pumped about this beer. Um, I don't think beers have to be crazy, outlandish, weird, even though we were getting a little weird in the beginning there. They don't have to be weird to be awesome. Classic, well done styles is awesome. I'm here to tell you on Just Tap Tasting, simplicity is awesome. And I think Firestone knocks out a bunch of beers in classic styles so freaking well. Pale 31 is definitely uh, a beer that exemplifies that sentiment and you should come and have one. It's a great summer drinking beer. Let's drink one together here at the Wilkie. Question of the day. Question of the day. Do you garden? Have you ever gardened before? I started a garden for the first time in my life. I have a garden. Do you garden? That's my question. Question of the day, let me know if you garden, yes or no. If you say yes, sub question of the day, what did you plant? I wanna know what you planted. Cheers. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You're probably watching it one of two ways, either on YouTube, and if you are, thank you so much. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and look in uh, the links below for our, what's on tap right now. You might be watching on Facebook. Awesome, Facebook's a wonderful place. If you could go ahead and click the share button down below, share it with your friends, and keep coming back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new episodes of Just Tap Tasting, where we talk about all the deliciousness that we've tapped.